what's going on guys? A lot of you guys already know me. For those of you who don't, I go by the name of Hoggy and I review beer. Um, that's my thing here on YouTube. Uh, but really the thing is, I review beer because I know a lot about beer because I drink a lot of beer. I've been drinking beer on a regular basis since I was 15, 16 years old. Now back in about 2007, 2008, I started drinking craft beer. I started getting into craft beer. Um, and eventually I kind of realized I wanted to share that with people. So I started reviewing beer, first on my blog, and then in late 2009, I started doing video reviews here on YouTube. And all this time, you know, talking about beer and writing about beer and doing videos about beer, I've been asked one question many, many times. And that's guys basically asking me, you know, I'm trying to get into craft beer, where do I start? I want to try some new beers and some new beer styles. How do I go about this? So I'm doing this video uh, just to basically put out there what I've said to all these people who've asked me that question over the years. Because I always reply the same way, I always tell them the same thing. To anybody out there looking to get into craft beer, to everybody out there who wants to start trying different craft beers and start, you know, drinking something better than that bullshit Budweiser and, and all that other garbage that's cheap and crappy, more on that later, um, this is the way I recommend people go about it. And it's very simple. You know, hopefully you live in a large enough town or city that, you know, you can go to your supermarket or maybe Walmart, Target, something like that, and find a variety pack of Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams is a good brewery, and they're, even though they're a craft brewery, they're widely available and widely distributed. So a lot of supermarkets and Walmarts and Targets, etc., carry their, 12, their variety 12 packs. Because this is how I start. I started picking up a six pack of the regular Boston Lager at the store, just thinking it's another beer. Um, then I started trying six packs of their different you know, flavors, different styles, I should say. And I picked up the variety packs. And when you get a variety pack, you know, if it's a variety six, you get three different styles of beer. If it's a variety 12, you get six different styles of beer. And many breweries offer a variety pack. If you can come across any kind of variety 12 pack of beer, go for it. Um, Sam Adams is the one I recommend because they're usually the easiest to find. But the reason I always suggest this is because when it comes to, you know, to craft beer, to quality, good beer, there are so many different styles. You know, people in this country think that the only style of beer is something like Bud or Miller or Coors or High Life or Corona. That's all one style. You know what I mean? There's Pilsners, there's Box, and, and there's German Pilsners, there's Czech Pilsners, there's Box, there's Stouts, there's Porters, there's Pale Ales, there's IPAs, there's Red Ales, there's Amber Ales, there's Hefeweizens, there's Dunkelweizens. Um, there's Belgian beers, Belgian wit beers, etc., quads and trapels, and the list goes on. I could stand here for you know 20 minutes running off every different style of beer. Um, so I recommend the variety packs because you can get a pack that will have six different styles of beer in it. And you know what? Try them all. See which ones you like. Take the ones you like the most, see what style they are, and look for more beers of that style. Two great references I always give people are beeradvocate.com and ratebeer.com. You can search for beers there. You know, if you see a beer you've never heard of in a store before, go to Beer Advocate, go to Rate Beer, search for it, see what style it is, see what the alcohol level is, see where it's brewed, learn a little about it. A lot of times those websites on the side will actually uh, show you other beers in that exact same style, list other beers in that same style or you can click on the beer style and you know it'll pop up a category of other beers from other breweries all across the country in that style and that's how you learn because that's how I got into it. This right here is a double IPA. IPA is an India Pale Ale. It's a very hoppy style. Uh, American IPAs tend to be very hoppy, very strong beers. It's what I like. You may like something different. I like hoppy beers. You may end up liking malty beers. You may end up liking stouts and porters and rich dark beers. You may end up liking wheat beers. Uh, the Belgians love to make, and the Germans too, love wheat beers. They're lighter, easy drinking beers, but they still have a good amount of flavor. I mean, it's, there's so many beers out there. So this is just my message to those guys who are interested in getting into craft beer. That's how you start. Uh, and remember, Beer Advocate and Rape Beer, you may hear people talking bad about Beer Advocate. There are a lot of snobs out there with their stuck-up, douchey opinions about beer. These are the guys who are spending 20 bucks on one bottle of beer. 
Uh, don't listen to what they say. Don't read the reviews. I go to Beer Advocate just for the listing of the beer where it says the name of the beer, where it's from, the style it's categorized as, the ABV, whether it's a seasonal beer or not, and that's it. I don't really care too much for the actual reviews. Um, but yeah, that's how you start. You know, Samuel Adams is widely available. Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada is also a brewery that is widely available in a lot of supermarkets across the country. Um, and just little by little, man, tr you see something and looks interesting, buy it and try it. That's always been my motto. And if you don't like it, screw it. You drink it anyway. And, you know, if, if it's that bad that you can't drink it, you know, give it to somebody else. Another thing I want to mention before I go, because I wanted to keep this kind of short and simple as a piece of advice for you guys, but another thing I do want to let you guys know, if you find a beer, especially beers like IPAs that have a lot of hops, if you find hops to be unpalatable and disgusting the first time you try it, be patient. I've seen it happen, it happened to myself, it happened to my wife, and it happened to three of my good friends. All of us had the same reaction the first time we tried a really hoppy beer. We didn't like it. It was too strong, it was too bitter, it was too like a resiny, piney nastiness, you know, like a pine sap, that sharp, bitter feeling, and the palate did not like it. Tried it the second time, it wasn't so bad. Tried it the third time, it was actually halfway decent. By the fourth time, it's all I wanted to drink. And now IPAs are my favorite beer style. So also keep that in mind. Your palate will change over time once you start trying different things. For those who don't know, it's four ingredients in quality beer. Water, yeast, hops, and malt. Malt is the grain, malted barley, that gives it the sweetness in the body. Hops are added for flavor, hops add bitterness. Water and yeast, well, the yeast causes the fermentation, which makes the damn beer, and water is kind of self-explanatory. For those who don't know, hops are little green nugs that grow on trees. They are actually related to cannabis. They are. It's the same kind of little green resinous nug that grows on trees. And American beers tend to be very hoppy because hops grow naturally, wildly, in the Pacific Northwest. So that's why you get a lot of beers from California and from the West Coast being very hoppy, uh, like this one. They specialize in hoppy beers over there because it's a natural resource. Um, but just because a lot of beers are hoppy doesn't mean you guys have to drink hoppy beers. Try different styles, find what you like, and drink what you like. That's pretty much all there is to it. Variety packs and patience. Have fun. It's an adventure. And, uh, you know, not only do you try tasty new things, you learn some new things, but you also kind of uh, catch a buzz. So it makes it all real fun and worthwhile, especially when you're doing it with friends. So that's it. That's my advice to you guys. Good luck. And uh, you got any questions, suggestions, or anything else, man, just hit me up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.